Salutations and hallucinations, those steam defenders back again for vaping with Uncle Jojo. Hope everybody had a great 4th of July. I had an absolute blast. I am proud to say, went and spent some time with a really great friend of mine, ex-girlfriend actually. I <laughs> uh, had a great time. We uh, enjoyed the fireworks, hung out with her kids, did some talking, that sort of thing. Basically just, you know, nothing serious, nothing major, just hanging out, chilling. It was absolutely great to get the heck up out of him for a little while. Kind of need to do that every once in a while. Back here tonight with a new juice. This is from Allison Vapeland. And this is the Duchess. This is a caramel cream. And we all know I love my caramel creams. This is the big 30 mil bottle. Glass. Your obligatory dripper. Eh, this isn't a very thick. This is probably around a 60-40, I'm going to guess. I don't remember. I decided I would try this tonight. As you can tell, I have been trying it a bit since it came in. Got it, of course, from Giant Vapes, Giant on the Hill. If you want selection, <laughs> hey, them boys and girls up there, they've got a selection, baby. And, of course, what are we going to be running it on, of course? The Cigale 150 with that beautiful... Uh, Vaping with Uncle Jojo from jraps.com. My boy Ryan McLeod at McTwisted Coils whipped me up these bad boys. It's 24 gauge, 32 gauge, Nichrome Claptons. I'm telling you, y'all want some coils, man. McTwisted, head down there. My dog is an artist, man. I'm telling y'all, he is an absolute artist. Uh, you know, I can twist them, that's it. Twisted Coils, that's it. I, I don't mess with this other. Uh, that's. Mm -mm. You, you speaking Greek to me. I don't even know what in the heck he's talking about. But okay. We're going to soak these puppies down. And I will show you the ohm load. We are, of course, using my 13 Heavens 9 Hells RDA from Indulgence with that full blown stove pipe. Airflow set to max. Got a brand new set of freshly charged Samsung 25Rs in here. I'm going to go ahead and crank that voltage on up. And as you can see, we're sitting at 0.2 ohms. And it cut off, of course. 0.2 ohms at 100 watts. Standard, I, use, I very rarely go below 80 of the dripper. <laughs> now, just me saying I like it is not really giving you information. That's giving you an opinion. And opinions, as we all know, are they're like armpits. Everybody's got at least two, and sometimes they stink. So I'm going to give you some information you can actually use. What we're looking at here is a caramel and cream. It's very thick, very rich flavor. Now, the caramel is not the smooth, sweet caramel that you will find in most vapes. This is a little bit stronger caramel. Uh, the equivalent thereof, say, of a difference between milk chocolate and a darker chocolate. Meaning it's slightly more on the bitter side, which is actually a truer car caramel flavor. Now, I'm telling you this because some people are going to like it, some people won't. This way you can make a, a more informed decision on whether this would be a juice for you. Now, I'm not saying that it is harsh, but it does have a slightly stronger caramel flavor. Most are drowned in the cream. Most of, the, most of your cream and caramels are a cream with caramel undertones. This is caramel with a cream undertone. So the caramel is going to be your predominant flavor, and it is slightly... Caramel is a slightly harsh flavor if you've ever tried it. If it's not overlaid with tremendous amounts of sugar, which is where we normally see it. It's a very good vape. It's a discerning vape. Uh, this is actually one of my, uh, I would say, I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. It's a very, it's one of my more favorite vapes as far as caramels because I'm used to the super sweet caramels. And just like with chocolate, sometimes you like a milk chocolate, but occasionally that good dark, you know, your darker chocolates are going to be a little bit more bitter because the way to describe the taste of chocolate is milk chocolate is, a, is chocolate with a lot of sugar. It's the sweeter chocolate 
whereas your darker chocolate is going to be less sugar and more of the chocolate. And that's what you're getting here. It's more of a like a dark chocolate flavor with the caramel. You're not, it's not doubt that there's chocolate in it, mind you. There's not. But it's a slightly stronger caramel flavor than most people are going to be used to. Oh, man. But I'm going to tell you what. This is, this is good stuff. Just got this bottle in. Actually, it came in Friday for the 4th. And I wasn't, I was too busy. I had too much going on getting ready for the weekend. Had a lot to work. I was actually got Saturday off. I usually work six days a week. So I was just swamped and I didn't even have time to touch it. So yesterday morning I remembered it and I was like, oh yeah. I think it's time to break out the Duchess and find out what she's all about. There ain't a whole lot left now. Love that big tip. You just right on down in there. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and fire this puppy on up. Let's hit 150. Yeah. Sorry, I'm actually at the shop at the moment. It hurts my banging on the front door. Well, y'all are what's called SOL. Stuff out of just stuff out of luck. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm telling y'all, if you want a good dessert vape, this is it. Now, like I said, I'm going to warn you, this is not your average standard super sweet vape. This is a caramel vape with sweet queen, sweet queen. I just invented my whole new word, queen. Don't you wish you were special lot, May? <laughs> but hey, this is a very sweet, it is, it, it is sweet, but it's primarily caramel. The sweet is the undertone. It's the flip. It's a little bit different take on it. Oh, man. Oh. oh, look at that old man blowing clouds. Oh, hey. Man, the flavor on these Claptons is just absolutely just stellar intensity. That's at a full on 150 watts. You're talking 5.8 volts. And as you can see, yeah, them's duels, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you haven't tried this, this particular RDA, check out my review on it, man. This thing is an absolute beast. It's a beast. And then some. the clouds are starting to roll in yes sir. all right that was enough of that as I said this is a primarily caramel vape so you're gonna get more caramel than you do sweet which is the flip most of them are very sweet with a caramel flavor this is more like the true caramel a real caramel in other words it, it is sweet but it's primarily that caramel so it's it's an in-your-face caramel I'm loving it I love caramel it's one of my favorite things Hey, fat folk love sweets. We experts. I'm, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm going to uh, get some more juice reviews rolling out this week. i got to get caught up. I've been just had, I, I went through a bad time myself. I'll probably mention this. Uh, female troubles. I am a guy. <laughs> I think that's kind of normal. Whether it work itself out or not, I have no idea. I absolutely do not. I've cast all of that in the hands of God and told him it is yours I don't know so I handed it off to him which is what we're supposed to do that's right hey y'all like my new band look at that yeah that's one of them paracord bracelets I just made that the other night I got whole, kind of got into it as a hobby and I got a whole uh, pile of them in there well, what I'm going to do with all of them when I'm giving them away I guess or sell them maybe I'll sell them who knows I just thought I would show that off because, hey, apparently I got a skill I didn't even know I had. 
So there you go. It's orange and green. Is that cool or not? Damn, I'm good. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all have yourselves a very blessed night. And I will talk it y'all later. I got a few more videos coming out this week. We're going to churn some out. Um, I got some new stuff coming in. We'll be here in a couple of days. I already have a few more juices I'm going to do. I'm, trying to, I'm going to try to pop one out tonight. This one tonight, tomorrow night, every night this week. I'm going to try to get a couple of them out to get caught up. Got some new stuff in from one of my absolute all-time favorite blender, uh, blends from <laughs> Blends by Bryce, one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely amazing stellar sauce, I'm hoping. I haven't tried these particular blends yet, but I haven't been disappointed with their other stuff. I'll let you know. I'll do a video on those. And I got a couple more coming in. I got two or three bottles coming in by Friday, along with some new drip tips and all that good shit. So, I'm going to get up out of here. I got to go. It's my night off. Yeah, I get those. I'm tired. It's been a rough day. So, I say unto you, as always, my friends, peas and cornbread.